Hey guys and welcome back to another video and in this video we are going to fix meta exploit. Yeah I know that most of you say that it's not working you have made several parts and still it don't work for me. I'm totally with you. Some of the device may not support this method because of some dependency errors in their repositories by Termux. If you really want it to get worked and notified by someone you can join me on telegram and we used to talk about linux errors only so this is the right time to connect with me and if you're going to join us i assure you that as soon as official repo gets fixed i'm going to let you know on the telegram we know that how useful this application is for everyone who used to use linux i don't guarantee that i don't assure you that it's going to work for you 100 percent but i know that most of you are going to say yes it's working but it depends sometime what exactly we are going to do today so today so today we are going to provide you a custom bash script which is going to install metasploit in your device without any concern without any error still if you're getting any kind of error i have something for you at the end of the video so i'm going to explain you what is the alternative of metasploit and how can you get it in your turn marks believe me that is working like official metasploit which is in the kali linux so i already know that you know about metasploit and what it does so if you want to watch this video in hindi it's uploaded on my hindi channel so must check that out and everybody who is following our channel somehow connected to me and i know that how to keep them happy so if you are new to our channel please subscribe it right now and let's get into the video and this time i'm going to provide a voice over to it okay so let's do it straight away and i hope it will work for you and if it does give it a thumbs up and please join my telegram group for any kind of concern related to linux termux windows 10 and anything else which relates to linux and windows okay so let's get into the video and fix it no!
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to install NetHunter on my device, okay? And if you are connected to me on Telegram, you know that NetHunter has its own repository which is equivalent to Kali Linux and it calls everything from the official repo which is hosted by Offensive Security. So you are going to get the accurate version which is the latest version for Metasploit in Kali NetHunter. So in order to install that I'm going to show you a small video which will show you the method to install it. So the first thing you have to do is you have to download the wget in your device. To install the wget you have to run a command apt install wget and hit enter. Then paste the same command I have pasted on my screen. And then paste the same command I have pasted on my screen and here you can see there is an executable file. Now provide is it a executable permission now run this bash file so installation has been started it has start to download the root of this file for my device okay and I'm going to pause it until it does everything so it will not take longer now here you can see it says if you want to delete the root of this file so you have to press the capital N so that it should not delete that file if in case NetHunter stopped working this file would help you to reinstall it okay so to reinstall it you have to run the executable once again it will look for the files and ask you you have an existing root fs file would you like to use that you have to press Y and hit enter within a few seconds it will do everything in front of you and right now it will take some time to install everything in your device so let's see what else we have right now so here you can see it says Kali NetHunter for Termux installed successfully and there are some commands in front of you okay so let me explain you something before we start it okay by typing NetHunter you can get inside the NetHunter you can type NH as well if you want to get inside the root directory without prompting the password you can type NetHunter minus R or NH minus R okay So I'm going to type NH for Kali NetHunter and let me check if Metasploit is there in my device or not. And here you can see I have the Metasploit installed in my device. Now let me try to execute it. And you can see that I have Metasploit installed but it's pretty old version like 6.1.14 developers version. So now I'm going to update it. To update it all you have to do is you have to exit the NetHunter and get inside the root account and here you have to provide the password for your Kali account in Kali NetHunter. Okay it's done password updated successfully now click Ctrl D to exit once again and always make sure that you should not update your device by going inside the root directory it should be done always out of the root okay believe me it's going to take two to three hours and totally depends on your internet speed so so here you can see it has started to update the metasploit framework to the updated version And now it's creating symbolic link for all the applications to run and here you can see there is an error in front of you and a 
according to official documentation of Kali NetHunter, you will be you will not be able to run the post GraphQL in your Kali NetHunter. And there are some commands like top and ps. You will not be able to execute these commands for now. Rest of the things are working 200%. If it is not working for you, let me know. Again, you can see that there are some errors and you should not ignore this because there is an option to fix it. Let me show you how to do it. You have to type sudo and here you can see it has been fixed. Now you have to upgrade your device. Okay, press Y once again. So again, you can see that we have a single error which belongs to post Chris Quill. So it's not going to work anyhow. So if you try to fix it, it will not work because again, according to the official documentation of Kali NetHunter, post Chris Quill will never work on Kali NetHunter as if now maybe in future they come with update and fix it for us okay now clear the screen and try to run the msf console and i just want to check the version of it okay so after installing your so after installing your Kali NetHunter, all you have to do is log out it for the first time and then type MSF console. It will take some time in the first boot and after that it's not going to take much time. Here you can see Metasploit belongs to its official and updated version which is 6.1.32 dev. Okay, so I hope if the first method is not working for you, the alternative is always there for you okay so do not be worried about anything in future i'm going to show you how to connect it with the gui version because kex vnc server is not working so far okay i already have made a video on these topics but those are outdated they have some errors for now okay so i'm going to create another video for this and I'll upload it soon so I hope that your issues have been fixed in this video and you are going to like and subscribe to my channel for further updates if you really want to get notified for everything whatever I'm going to do on YouTube before I do it please join us on telegram group to get notified okay so this was it for the day i hope you liked this video and thank you so much for bearing me so far take care of yours and have a great time ahead i'm